<laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused three million dollars worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! What is that? What Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. But do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It can power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army. You know, made a local friend. So I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's fine. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. Putting no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh, Marcus! Ooh. Oh. You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. I'm gross. Is that Alexia Daddario, like, whatever her last name is, to go from the Percy Jackson? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <sighs> you great. Thank you. So, do you have the safecracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were gonna, um,. Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> oh god, this got awkward super quick. I'm gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome! How the hell did she get here? Go to the right uh -huh. here. Pausing real quick. Hey guys, welcome back to Dawn with Silver Screen Reviews. I ruined that intro because I love her as a character. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so it doesn't matter. But uh, clearly this is Battlefield Hardline, uh, Episode 8, Sovereign Land. Last time we left off, we fucked over uh, Rourke's house, the glass house. <laughs> $3 million worth of damage. I felt pretty impressed with myself. Um, I now realize that we are capped out. We are an expert at level 15 in the game. Um, that's probably because I went through the entire game deciding to arrest everybody. So we got there pretty quickly, so I'm not going to be doing much of that. So the episode shouldn't be so so cut anymore. I think they'll be a little more fluid because instead of trying to arrest them, I'm probably just going to avoid everybody or get into firefights, whichever strikes my fancy at the at the moment. I will, I, I'm going to try to do the suspects. Um, and I'm going to try to find all the clues, which may interfere with me not wanting to do all the arrest thing. Because either I need to shoot everybody or arrest everybody. Excuse me, I have to... <coughs> ah, excuse me. Um, to arrest everybody or shoot everybody in order for me to kind of be able to free roam, to be able to get all the clues. So, I don't, I, I guess my whole point is I'm still going to do the clues <laughs> and the arrest warrants if possible. Um, but if not, so be it. I don't think I'm going to put a whole, oops, I don't know why I'm paused. I'm not going to put a whole lot of emphasis on it. That's, we've kind of gotten to the point in the game where I've leveled up. I don't feel like, I mean, it's kind of like leveling up in an RPG, you know? It's like you're maxing out a character in Final Fantasy and you realize, oh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what you are. You don't feel the compelling need to grind anymore. So, uh, but it's the beginning of a new episode, guys. So, uh, three, two, one, cheers. Good stuff. Let's go. So what have 
you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road. I'll tell you when to turn. So are you, like, enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. Oh, shit! <laughs> so what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, a boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> Sasha, Dad, is still carrying that fucking gun? Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we can... Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he Our tried community? to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, mm. which was so fucking romantic. So here to hear but, a curse. Which kind of upset my dad, I guess? Show him your bracelet. Oh! GPS. What the fuck? He always knows where I am. <laughs> That's great. Super fucking disturbing. The fuck? They in a community, huh? What kind of community? Oh, hello, Gwen. Are we just driving now? So your dad sounds intense. He is in SEAL Team Six. Sorry, he was not in SEAL Team Six. Due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community oh, of like-minded patriots. Lovely. Patriots. And of course, no, of course there aren't. I was just about to say totally that. Totally aren't. So Nick is cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. Of course they are. What? Where'd they go? Oh, well, they got shot. Gone. They were murdered. Oh, wait, what? Dark road straight ahead. That's ours. Ignore all. I may actually just cut all that out because that was super embarrassing. I have a nasty tendency to move the right stick and I'm slowing down. Here we are! Look at all that experience that's totally fucking useless to me now. Well, well. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. Hey, Mr. Albert. Thanks for seeing us. Uh, it's the least I can do. After you tried to kidnap my daughter. You must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, it certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh. Oh, oh dude. Hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah. A lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella Stoddard, from huh? named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. The fuck? Well, man, get off Kill me. Kill her off this asshole before I puke. I can't tell if he's... Oh, and Marcus, just, just... so clear. Race is not a fact. Oh, okay. My dislike of you is... Personal. Fair enough. I can I can go with that. Am I right next to him? Yes. I have relatively good news. Really? What'd you get Thick. back? Dune gave it to me when she hugged me. Oh. Dune. Who just set us up? Well, she just set Dude. me up. Who set you up? She's, uh... She's actually really good people. Mm, you say that. Sure. Perhaps we could have used that to pick our handcuffs? All right. Stay behind me. Okay, we gotta find a way out of here. There ain't no argument here. I can't anyway, do anything. Decommissioned in the early 90s. Do it just a party down here. Uh, please tell me Albert doesn't have a nuke. I don't have a nuke. I can't 
do anything, so you're gonna have to look clues or whatever. Let's just go. Okay, this way. Follow the reps. Let's see what's up here. Let's have a curiosity. Oh. There's gotta be an escape hatch here somewhere. That works. Oh, he's still just going all the way around this guy. Sorry, dude. I don't think I killed him. I will take that. Yes. I think that's much better. I'm assuming that's all that I have, okay. though. How many rounds you got? Eleven. Not many. Okay, come on, let's find that escape hatch. I still, I can't. Let me just. Just wanna kind of check out real quick now that I can. Shit. Which way now? Excuse me. Um. I cannot get past him. I have to literally. He has to come into the room for me to edge by him. Okay. Excuse me. I can't run. Whatever. We're out here. Let's just go. I'm assuming it's further up. I don't. Can I get through here? Maybe. This door is really, really well. Yeah, I can. Okay. It's really well lit. You're listening to Tony Albert on Desert Beacon Radio. Let's go. That's really weird. Hey, whatever. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Is there anything in here? Even if so far, I couldn't analyze it. I guess I could pick something up, but. Never liked that Marcus kid anyway. Little fucking know it all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags Shit. like that live around here. Shit, we had them, Mexicans, hippies, some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. The Mexican, he was a cop. Oh man, way too many cops around here lately. Yeah, well, Fuck it. not a cop anymore. Tony says he fucked <laughs> Murdered everybody. Stop being a bitch. And I got more ammo. Yes, please. Hey, one of these idiots had my scanner. Hey, there's a ladder. That's our way out. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Uh, sure. It's gonna be super bright. Close your eyes. Oh, crows. Look at this compound, really. Right. We need to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here. Look, if Stoddard gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. All right, so how you want to take this, man? There's a lot of Alfred's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, 
I mean, we, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. But if you're up for that. And you lead. I'll be right behind. That's bullshit that they give me that many choices.